Well, live sporting events typically are loud, flashy, and full of people. And that can be overwhelming for some. Well, the Cyclones dialed that back in their game today in hopes of bringing in new fans with sensory friendly atmosphere. As Brad Underwood explains now, this event is becoming a fan favorite. Inside Heritage Bank Center, crowd chit chat may be the loudest thing you'll hear. The music isn't as loud, there's no bullhorn or pyrotechnics, and the lights aren't as bright. Sunday's Cyclones game is sensory friendly. It's just a really great way for people to feel like they're a part of the community. Jennifer Smith is a clinical psychologist and behavior analyst at Children's Hospital. She says events like this are crucial when it comes to true inclusion. We try to make sure that all of our families who have kids with developmental disabilities are able to come out and do uh, fun things out in the community just like everyone else. It's the third year for the sensory friendly game. It also serves as Military Appreciation Day. Some of those things that are triggers or stimulants that may have uh, in the past uh, eliminate someone from coming to a game. It uh, introduces them to the game and um, hopefully they come back and it's a building block to coming back to a, to a game that isn't sensory friendly. Kristen Ropp is the vice president and general manager of Heritage Bank Center and the Cyclones. She says this particular event continues to grow in popularity. However, all year round, you can pick up a sensory kit for any event. Noise canceling headphones, sunglasses just to darken things up, fidget spinners. There's also a placard for folks that may be nonverbal. They can point and say where they want to go or what they are looking to do. Also making sure families have options. There's a chill zone for anyone who may need a break from the action. I wouldn't mind for it to be more than just one game a year. It was like family nights. The quiet tent will be available for in between rounds or when your kids get reckless in the seat, you can bring them out here. At Heritage Bank Center, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. By the way, the sensory kits are free. There's also a social narrative available on the Cyclones website with a step-by-step -step guide from the parking lot to the event. Of course, we have a link for you at local12.com.